Hey everybody, this is Scotty's Kitchen's Garage, and today we're waiting on someone to drop off a car. Uh, I haven't been posting a lot of videos lately, been just super, super busy. Uh, I'm going to do a quick video on the Gremlin, show you guys where we're at with it. Uh, Pops has been doing some killer work. Uh, I haven't had much time to mess with it too much. i got a couple things done to it. Let's just take a look at it. As you can see, we got most of the cage and everything done up in it. Got the shifter, all the seat, all that stuff's been mounted. Uh, it's, it's pretty much well a roller. Uh, we're down to the caster camber plates. Like I said, we went ahead and put a Fox, uh, Fox body tubular front end underneath it. And then we got some coilover shocks coming. And we're going to take this right here. And we're going to cut this out right here. And then run a bar from in there off our dash bar. And then we'll tie into a wraparound bar right here. We've been making some pretty good head, or Pops has made some pretty good headway on it. I've only got to mess with it sparingly. But this week, I'm hoping to have some, some time towards the end of the week. One thing I want to show you guys out there, uh, if you're building a car for yourself or going to put a roll cage in something, I see this a lot of times. It's very important, especially when you're sitting back in the car like this. See how you're sitting back pretty much well at the B pillar? It's real important that you don't put your A pillar bar way out here. You'll see it a lot of times. You even see it like on Street Outlaws a lot of times. The guys are leaned way, way over trying to see around this bar. Uh, if, if we was building a chassis car, I actually put this bar inside the A pillar. But this is just a... I throw together, let's have some fun car. So we just tucked it as tight as we could to the A pillar to make sure it doesn't get in our line of sight. I can give you kind of a rough ideal. You know, that's that's you out of the the driver's seat to where you see how the, the A pillar is not in your way. You get a nice line line of sight. Uh, it's just little details like that you want to be mindful of. It'll make your car work better for you. You'll feel more comfortable in the car. I do need you guys' help out there. I am looking for a set of uh, double beadlock slots to put on the back of this thing. If anybody knows where a set is, let me know in the comments below. And uh, that's really all the time I got for today. You guys have a good one. I'll catch you on the next one.